All right, hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm gonna talk about what I eat during a high carb day. This is probably the only time you're gonna see me do a uh, what I eat in a day type of thing, because um, those things can be like not helpful, right? Unless you're the same size as somebody else, have the same goals, all of that stuff. I am a very different size human <laughs> from most people. I'm 6'2". I'm really tall really tall. Every time I meet somebody in person that they only know me from online, they're always like, I knew you were tall, but wow, you are so, I'm like, I know, I know. So keep that in mind when we're talking about these things, that this is what I do. That doesn't mean it's right for you, but this is something that I can guide you through. This is something that we can talk about. What would yours look like? How does this impact you? And why would this be important for women who have um, hormone issues, metabolism issues, insulin resistance, and you feel like you're not burning the food that you're eating very well, one of the ways to use your food to really teach your body how to burn things again is by doing carb cycling. So carb cycling is just altering the number of carbs that you're doing day to day. Now, I don't use a tradi I say traditional because I don't recommend really high and then doing multiple days of really low for a long period of time. That's not good for the female body. That's actually can be harder on your adrenals. Um, so I've done videos on carb cycling, which is on my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. So you can go there, look at my videos that I've already done going through different patterns and things like that. But I wanted to show you what I would eat. So this would be, if you're like, well, what does that mean? I'm talking like 180 to 200 grams of carb for the day. This, this is what I'm talking about. And if you're like, wow, that seems like a lot. It can be. Now, am I just eating carbs for the whole day? No, I'm eating proteins. I'm eating fat. I'm still getting my protein goal of, let's just say, at least 180 grams of protein. Now, that's me, right? Large human. <laughs> and if I don't hit these goals, if I get, you know, 120, is that a big deal for a day? No. Right? No, I can do that for a day. But if I do that for a couple of weeks, not getting enough protein, I feel it. I feel it in my energy. My digestive system changes. It's, it's not good. It's not good. So these are, again, macros that I use for me. But I help women choose what macro levels are right for you based on your hormones, based on everything else. These are things that we do. When we talk about Dutch testing and everything else, hormone testing, and then again, if you're wondering too about carb cycling, I also have information in my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Great resources for you. All about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. Nutrition for your cycle. Right here. Boom. So these are great resources that also list it out. But I want to go through this and talk about what I eat during high carb day. So, because sometimes people are like, oh my God, you, you eat those? Or... <laughs> There's some gals when they get a meal guide that I send them, they'll be like, I'm sorry, I don't understand. There's a bagel on there. You have bagels listed. And I'm like, yeah, you get to eat a bagel. Isn't that amazing? I haven't eaten a bagel in five years. Well, that's just, well, do you like bagels? Yes, I love bagels. Well, then eat the bagel. Eat the bagel. Now this is... I'm literally showing you stuff from my kitchen, from my pantry, uh, from my fridge. Um, these were $8. <laughs> oh my, I, my husband goes to, I usually do the shopping at Costco and Hubs does the shopping at the regular grocery store. And look at that. Look at how much these bagels are <laughs> for four bagels. Uh, I don't know. That's like $2 a bagel. Maybe that's right. If you go out and get bagels somewhere, that might be right. I don't know can't go out really and get a gluten-free bagel though. You have to do them at home. So this is uh, Canyon Bakehouse is one of my favorite brands of gluten-free items. Uh, I've been gluten-free for 17 years now. Long time. Long time. By necessity, not by choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be easier if I ate gluten. It would be. But I can't. I mean, I physically could. It just wouldn't be pretty. So these are dairy, soy, and nut-free also, um, but these are, they're a good size bagel and they're squishy. I'm doing an ad for them now. I'm not intending to, but <laughs> these are great bagels and there is 51 grams of carb for a bagel. 
So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, how in the heck can I get 200 grams of carb for the day? That seems like a lot. I know it does. The, my easy way of doing high carb days are I'll have a shake and a bagel in the morning because I'm getting my proteins in, I'm getting all the other nutrients that I need, and then I'm starting my day with 50 grams of carb right there, boom, so that I only have to worry about 150 grams the rest of the day. That's incredible, right? That's incredible. So, bagels, for real, amazing. Um, other things that you can make, uh, this is uh, Pamela's, Pamela's uh, gluten-free pancake mix. This is the mix I use, and then I just add protein powder to this. So these are great. Um, and, they're, and they're delicious. Total carbs, 25 grams of carb with two four-inch pancakes. So, yeah. So you can have um, protein pancakes as a snack. That's also really nice. And then if you have lunch um, and make sweet potato for lunch, that's also really nice. Um, then quinoa. Uh, 28 grams of carb for quinoa, for a quarter cup of quinoa. Mm -hmm. Quinoa is pretty filling too. Quinoa is a grain. And there's 6 grams of protein in it too. So these are all like higher protein options when we're looking at some of these uh, carb sources. Um, this is also, again, I get a lot of the stuff at Costco. Yeah. Um, these protein things made from chickpeas, protein, uh, rotini. Pasta, it's powered by chickpeas. This is a great, um, these are a great pasta source, and they have 35 grams of carb per serving and 11 grams of protein. So also super helpful to get your protein goals if you can add on, you know, protein here and there because you're eating carb stuff with protein. But that's another one you can have. Um, another one that I do if we're out of that pasta, my kids really love this. This is ramen. I don't eat this very much, but every now and then. There's 23 grams of carb for this. So this can be a great thing to add in. So we're really looking for it. Now a lot of this is rice, chickpea, um, quinoa, which is a seed, potato, sweet potato, right? And then... The, this is, I'm just looking at uh, rice flour, almond meal, tapioca starch, potato flour. That's what this is, a blend of flours. So it gives you kind of a variety of that. You don't have to eat the same thing and you don't have to, um, you know, worry about, I can't eat this or I can't have that. Like there are days, high carb days, I am pushing myself. To eat. It is hard sometimes to finish all the food by the end of the day because it's so much and it's so much carb, but that's the point. That's part of the point of carb cycling is that you get yourself more carbs some days and then it forces your system to burn it. When you're also having a high carb day, a couple other tips for you is to make sure you're doing a lot of just general movement. You don't have to work out really, really hard. You can. You can. Oftentimes I will schedule a heavier lifting day or something with a higher carb day, but I'm also going to make sure if I eat dinner, I'm going to go for a 10 minute walk after dinner. It's really good for your gut and it helps your body process all that carb that much faster. After breakfast, after lunch, after dinner, I'm going to walk. I'm going to do stuff, right? Even if I don't walk outside, I'm going to walk around my house, do some laundry, carry a laundry basket up and down, all these things. So this is you know, a really easy thing to do, but you do have to focus on getting more food in. One of the hardest things about this for people is that you have to eat more food. And it can freak you out because you're like, I shouldn't be eating this. I shouldn't be eating this. This isn't right. No, this is wrong. And it's not wrong. It's a tactic to help your metabolism and really reteach your body how to burn carbs. So you might have to go through a carb cycle several times before your body kind of kicks into gear and starts to do it. But again, this is what we do when we work together and how I help guide you through that process. So I would love to know if you guys have done any carb cycling. I would love to know if that's something you've experienced. So put a comment down below. I do check the comments um, and I would love to hear your feedback on whether or not this is something you have, you know, tried out, that type of a thing. And then I also have recommendations for you in terms of um, when to carb cycle. I always talk about doing it during your estrogen phase. So I have my tincture for estrogen. This helps your body create and maintain the right amount of estrogen that you would need 
to take in days 1 through 14, progesterone days 15 through 28. So these are in tandem. I've had some amazing, amazing testimonies that people just messaged me. Like, they started these, these tinctures and hormonal acne has cleared up. They started ovulating. They started having all these signals of ovulation. Some amazing fertility stories with these. So I'll be sharing more of those on my podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then I also have my adrenal balance tincture. And again, these are all um, non-alcohol based. They're glycerin based. So there's no alcohol in them. Put them right under your tongue and take them sublingual they absorb and they're so potent that way and they taste good you can also put them in water or coffee or tea or something too absolutely but they're so potent when they are in a tincture form they get uploaded right away into your system so tinctures uh nutrition for your hormones um there's a link in the comments for you guys to get some tinctures and let me know if you have any other questions on that Otherwise, I would love to hear, again, if you've done carb cycling, what your experience was, or if you have any other questions on that, because it can be confusing or it can feel wrong, but just know that it is an amazing tactic that has some fantastic results. So that's what I got for you today. Let me know if there's anything else. Otherwise, have a good rest of your day. Bye.